Aloha and welcome to some of the rant of a pet peeve that I kinda hold in for some time. And today we're gonna talk about FF7. But before I have to set out some ground rules. I'm not an FF fan. The most I actually play FF was World of Final Fantasy. And that was because of a friend shared with me. That's it. I know Seven's culture. I mean, Seven is like its own IP at this point. But I know of their cultural impact. And of course, Seven, the original game, was the JRPG of all time. But the remake kind of really stepped down that. Simply put, the remake and this trilogy that's gonna be is a pseudo sequel time travel nonsense. And let me say you this. I don't care what kind of interview say this or that or this, that Nomura wasn't at fault, he was the producer. But let me say you this. If Nomura wanted to keep it faithful, something is wrong in this scene. And of course, when the Reaper trails start to pick up, like, the more and more scenes, like, they're completely forgetting the whole idea of the original game. That even I know. Because I saw all the explanation, all the story hiccups, and, you know, people actually played this before the remake. The thing about this, that after all this is done, this strategy is gonna end it however, it still stays on the food that the original game is the bad end. Like, all this time, the original game is just a small part. Like, can you imagine that? That, that game that was a big name, that they make all kind of spin-offs game and all that, even a movie. To then say that this surgery that's gonna be now saying that that timeline is bad. That this we're gonna do is better. It's gonna be more grandiose. That it's gonna be about fate, destiny, and not about just losing a loved one. Because no matter if he's magical or not, losing someone is universal for anyone. The grief is real, but fighting the definition of destiny god is fiction. Jack, I don't hit him per se, hit what is around him, making him so much important that should be. He was just a side character, that's all. This is kind of all that I want to say in this video. If you want, you can buzz me in the comments saying all that, that I'm not faithful, I'm just a hater, but Axel is gonna speak louder. People are gonna look for the rock pull they're gonna pull in this part. People will not buy at first hand because they're gonna wait what is they really gonna do. People are actually angry what they did with the remake that is a little rock pull under you. It's gonna sell less. It's exclusive to PS5. And who knows what how long it's gonna wait for the next part. Or maybe the extra DLC. The Red Belt extra title. At the end of all this, when all the parts come out, the story concluded, although I bet there's gonna be more, I can feel it. I'm gonna ask you this. Was this all wanted to trust the original? The original that makes it Square Enix the one day she is now? And I know that people are gonna say Square and that, but you know what I mean. I mean, imagine this thing that you heard that has so high praise that then when you interact with a new product, like remake and you wonder, this is supposed to be like the highest praise game in all time, but then they're doing this. Seven, although it's kind of a lucky number, for this one it's not. They're gonna give you fan service, ship walls, gonna have normal people, casual gamer, just being about what the heck happens. And for someone like me that 
easy to pack out, so easy to touch Twitter, game news and stuff, but I don't look for interviews or the small details. Let me give you this other scenario. They kind of news about RGN, how they say FF16 didn't sell that well, that the comeback wasn't that big. Although that is great play of course, but in hindsight it's kind of true because 16 I think sells less than 7 did and that's how more niche was being action and try to be Game of Thrones. Then you have say the marketing, like imagine the game comes in a few months and doing that is the game fest I think if I remember. And what's the best thing to do for marketing? Market uh, part two of seven before sixteen came out. Like I said, seven is his own IP scene, and now every FF has to live in that shadow. I don't know what's gonna come out of this part next year. What kind of DLC is gonna have? The fact that it may be the same route we took with remake is gonna come to PC on Epic. The another EO is gonna come to Steam and we're gonna repeat this again, maybe. At least we know it's gonna be three parts. But we know that this part is gonna be like the camera's back to see. It's gonna break or not. You know? The theme of this is in this something that you can use universally in any story. Even for a side character that dies. But when you think that with the fighting destiny, God's destiny and all that metaphysic is not that impactful to say. And another note I, about the two discs, about part two. Sometimes I'm kinda add uh, how people are so easy to fool. Like it doesn't matter if the game is 100 gigs. Or is gonna have the best, best quality. Square Enix is actually known for this to have this quality against good sus substance. Look at 13. I mean, most of my games are like one tenth of those games size. I'd rather take a simple game that has a lot of gameplay than take a game that's gonna be most of the time a movie. This is what I wanted to say for a while. You can roast me as much as you can, but action is gonna speak louder. And when all this is over, I'm gonna ask this. Was this all worth it? Comment down to your response. Hope you enjoy my ramble rants and I'm not sorry this video is gonna see the light of day. Aloha. Thank you.